G'day Nerfers, Woody here from Ministry of Foam to show off my Ultra Strife. I've spent months working on this thing and it is a beast. I've warred with it and tested it I'm really happy where it's at. It's running 2800 kV Brother Hobby Motors with a 3S LiPo. Now on this side, it's got a lot of features. It's running an OLED screen, ammo counter, I'll go through all them later. There's a control knob so you can control everything and a select switch. So straightforward, single shot, that position, burst fire, top is full auto. Now we'll go through the features on the screen. Alright, we've got voltmeter up there, we've got firing mode here, pusher speed here, ROF and mag capacity and how much ammo you got left. You can go through, you can set your flywheel speed, turn it up to 100, which is where we're at before. You can go through to the next one, burst amount, you can adjust all the way up to five. Not sure why you want five, but hey, it's there. Um, I usually run two because that's most effective. And then you've got mag capacity, you can go all the way up to 35, or you can go all the way down to count up, which if you're using different mags, every time it does the ammo counting, it goes up instead of down. Really useful if you know, you're using different size mags. Say, you know, you got 10 in there, the 10 round mag, you use four, you got six left. That's how math works. Um, next one is your rev up delay. So when you pull the trigger, like the FDL, it spins up a certain amount of time and then shoots a pusher. Then that fires your dart. I usually run about 120, it's pretty snappy, pretty quick. Can go down to about 80, but you start to lose FPS there. Um, rev down time is the time it takes to spin down, you know, for braking. If you have it too much lower than two seconds, it really starts to get warm, so I like to keep it about there. Um, now push ROF, you can adjust that. It will go 100% is about 16 darts per second. I personally run it around about 13, because most mags don't keep up. Now push your return speed. You can go through and adjust some stuff. When the pusher goes fully out, it will actually break and then return slowly on its last return stroke. That's really handy because the pusher motor is going so fast on this thing. Now total darts fired is a cool little feature. It just keeps track of all the darts you've used during the playtime. And then if you you've got trigger type here, so normal one is rev and shoot, but you don't actually need the rev, you can just shoot it. But I kept, kept the rev so I can rev, rev taunt people instead of wasting ammo. Now there's another mode here called S-Trig. Your normal trigger will actually be single shot. Rev trigger will be burst and together is full auto. It's pretty cool, but I prefer normal mode. Now, if you like all the settings that you've done, you can just pull the trigger and it will set them to default. So next time you power up the blaster, it will remember them. And we're back to the beginning again. Now is the internals. I'll do a quick trigger pull to show you all firing and we'll look at the pusher working. Now it's all powered off a Tinsy 32-bit processor to control everything in the blaster. It's got my V2 auto kit which is available on Thingiverse. It's running the Ultra Pro cage which is still in development. It's really nice though. I've had a lot of fun building this blaster. I've still got more plans for this. Thanks for watching guys.